I've been playing RuneScape since I was a kid, and since then, I've completed a lot of challenges and accomplished a lot of goals. But one thing I've never achieved was the max cape. After Group Iron Man, I have an account that is closer than I've ever been to maxing, so here is my journey to max cape. Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 3 of the maxing series. In the last episode, we finished off 99 runecrafting at Rathorans and made over 175 mil, or basically 170 mil when you include the stamina potions. And as you can see, since the last episode, they've all sold off. Not only have they all sold off, but they've also gone up a bunch in price. It says 250 GP here. If I would have held my Rathruins instead of 174 mil at here, I'd have over 200 mil. I think it's like 206 mil is what I'd have exactly. So a little unfortunate there, but it is okay. I still make quite a bit of money that I'm happy with from the Rathruins. However, that is the last episode. In this episode, I want to focus on two skills in particular, and that is going to be Prayer and Slayer. And not just because the two skills rhyme, they kind of go together, and Prayer is going to be a difficult skill for me as I want the series to be about money making and prayer is pretty much just a net loss you're just burying bones or using bones at an altar and you're just losing and don't really get much out of it but I want to tie it into slayer by doing one of the best slayer creatures for money and it also drops some really good bones for prayer as well and the slayer monster I want to do is the alchemical hydra not only is it one of the best money makers in the game just overall but it also drops hydra bones which are really really good for prayer and combined with things like a bone crusher or even a bone crusher necklace can be really really powerful. Now before I start doing any Hydra what I want to do first is actually train some prayer as, as doing exclusively Hydra from 96 to 99 Slayer won't get me anywhere near the prayer XP that I need to get all the way to 99 prayer so I think what I want to do is just buy enough bones to get exactly 98 prayer that'll also get me up to 126 combat which would be super super cool but then I can see exactly how much prayer XP I get from all of the Hydra from 96 to 99 Slayer which I'm guessing will be about 600k and then we can finish off 99 prayer afterwards. It looks like I'm going to need about 15,400 dragon bones in order to get all the way to 98 prayer, which not only is that a ton of money already, but bone prices are going up and up just because there's like a new prayer potentially going out with wild gothic sleeps. So this is going to cost me a lot more than it usually should, but I do have to get 99 prayer eventually. So let's go ahead and bite the bullet and spend probably close to 65 mil on dragon bones. And while those bones are buying out, let's go ahead and get from 87 to 98 prayer within the next five seconds 88 prayer 89 prayer and there is 90 prayer there is 91 prayer 92 prayer 93 prayer 94 prayer 95 prayer 96 prayer 97 prayer 98 prayer looking at the grand exchange if we go down to all of our buy orders looks like the first 7500 Dragon Bones cost me 30.5 mil approximately. Then the next batch cost me about 29.5 mil. So in total it's 60 mil there, plus an extra 2 mil there, plus the 5 mil I spent on the Edgeville Respawn. Close to 67, 68 mil I spent there on 98 Prayer. And only one NPC gives you the Hydra task, and that is Konar. And Konar has a very high weight of 10 to give hydras it's very important to also set a really good block list as you can see i have drakes and worms blocked as they have the highest weighted here at konar and i already have a task at the moment and as you saw there i have one point left so there's no skips which means i have to do a force skip with no slayer points left to skip the only thing i can really do is get a lower level task so you go to Toriel here and then i'm going to have to get rid of my uh task streak of like 140 here but i can get an easier task which i can complete so yes please and now i kill 22 bats and then i can get a new task from tonar basically rinse and repeat until i get a hydra task and i want to do that quite a few times because it's like 2000 some hydras from me to get from 96 to 99 slayer so yeah let's try to get our first hydra task not too bad only have to skip three or four times and we've got ourselves a hydra task now i'll definitely be using the slaughter bracelets instead of the expeditious bracelets as it means every hydra i kill i think it's a 25 percent chance of not counting toward the task so i can get a lot more hydras than 129 per task but we'll see how many i get with this let's go ahead and gear up for the hydra and get started one last thing before we get started i want to show the gear i'll be using throughout this grind Pretty much max range, excluding the new Quiver from the Colosseum, as most of these kills were done before Volumor release, and I want to also quickly show off the collection log. In the few kills I've done, I've already been very lucky, so with the rare drops out of the way, hopefully we can potentially have a green log by the end. There is the first Hydra kill, and I forgot to put on the Bracelets of Slaughter and the uh, Bone Crusher Necklace. But just off the first kill, we've already made over 100k. This boss really just prints money. And hopefully I can remember to put on my Bone Crusher necklace and bracelets of slaughters after every kill. I was not even paying attention to this kill. And somehow I just got the Alchemical Hydra Speedrunner kill. Didn't even seem like that fast of a kill. And I, that's the Grandmaster Combat Achievement. 
that's actually pretty cool because I, now I only have one combat achievement left. Pretty close fight, but we got ourselves our first elite clues and we'll be doing every clue that we get. So let's go ahead and start doing this elite one. And now we have a hard clue scroll. It's the first one of these I've gotten. There's our first Onyx Bolt tip drop. It's a pretty decent drop, 400k there. And there's our first unique. It took a little bit, but 367 kill count. I don't even remember what I started with, but I've done over 100 kills now, and we've got ourselves the Alchemical Hydra Heads. It's actually very nice. That can be used to change my Slayer Helmet into a very cool looking one. So I'll take that. And there's another unique, the Hydra's Fang. I already got the Hydra's Eye in the first 250 kills I did. Now I got the Fang, which means I'm now one piece away from completing the Brimstone Ring. There is the final kill of the first Hydra task. The Bracelet of Slaughter's got me like an extra 30 kills. So that's nice there, but I am going to need a lot more Hydra tasks. It looks like we were able to kill 159 and made pretty much exactly 100k per kill. And I'm going to need to kill over 2,000, so at least 10 more hydro tasks probably closer to 15. let's get started on that task skipping this hydro task took a little bit longer than the other but there we are 140 hydras and again with the slaughter bracelets this will probably be close to like 170 180 hopefully closer to 200 be nice i think next time though i will definitely like change my task list probably boost for some more points use this last block slot and probably block some more higher weighted tasks because getting this hydro task was a pain and i'd really like to shorten this process Now that is a drop I want to see. I wasn't even really paying attention there. The Hydra's Claw. Oh, that is beautiful. Let me make sure I pick that up and actually get out of here. I'm like basically on like the end of a trip here. That is beautiful. 489 kill count for one of the rarer drops on the drop table. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Absolutely amazing. There's the first Slayer level of the grind, 97 Slayer, that means we have two more levels to go, but as the levels go up, so does the XP. Said that with Rune Crafting, but same with Slayer, 1.1 mil XP here, and then once I hit 98, 1.2 mil, so 2.3 mil XP to go, probably like 1,500 to 2,000 more Hydra. It's a lot of Hydra, but we can get through it. And shortly after getting 97 Slayer, we're up to 500 kill count here at the Hydra. So within like the last 10 kill counts, we got ourselves 97 Slayer, the Hydra's Claw, and 500 kill count. That's very nice. There's our second pair of alchemical hydra heads. Not really very useful, as I think you only really need one to make the Slayer helmet, but it's like a 1 in 256, so it's still kind of cool to get another one of them. There is the second Hydra task fully completed on our last kill. We're going to get anything. No, but we did get a Hydra's Claw this task, which is amazing since I'm only now at 600 kill count. But we got over 600 kill count now from that task just by using these Slaughter Bracelets, so that's nice. Got up to 97 Slayer and that Hydra Claw I just mentioned, so a very successful task. Decided to point boost for a bit just to get enough points to block Cal Fights. Now we can't get another Cal Fight task no matter what. Wow, and right after skipping that Cal Fight task, we got ourselves 167 Hydras. Hey, there's a new item the hydra's tail not really worth a whole lot and it's the same rate as the leather but i wanted to get one eventually so that is nice maybe if we get leather we'll get it on 666 collection log that'd be kind of cool hey there is the drop i was talking about the hydra's leather that is a lot more expensive than i remember it 13.1 mil it says 11.5 here that was the drop I was talking about earlier that I have not received yet. I've received the claw and the, I think, Hydra's tail before the leather. But here at 741 kill count, so not that much above rate, we've gotten our first Hydra leather. That's amazing. Now we'll go ahead and put that in the bank and let's check the collection log actually. The collection log for the Hydra is starting to fill up now. Now the only real thing I'm missing that I can expect to get is the last ring piece. I've already gotten the Hydra's Fang from my first few kills. Actually, it was the Hydra I I got before the video, then the Hydra's Fang from a few kills into this video, and then we're still missing the heart. Once you have the Fang, the Eye, and the Heart, you can make the Brimstone Ring. And then the only other two drops I'm missing other than that is the Dragon Knights and the Dragon Throwing Axes, which are a 1 in 2,000 drop, so I don't really expect to get them. However, I will be probably doing over 2,000 kills to get 99 Slayer, so seeing one or maybe even both of them isn't out of the question.
And right after talking about the drop, we got it. The Hydra's Heart, like 5, 10 kills after we got the Hydra's Leather. That is actually amazing. That means I can now go ahead and make the Brimstone Ring. So let's go ahead and do that. So I did get the Hydra's Eye before I started this episode. So I'll probably only consider two thirds of the money I make from the Brimstone Ring, the actual money. Or if I just get another eye, I can consider the full thing, depending how the rest of the Hydra goes. I don't really know how to make the ring. I think I just use the pieces on each other. It looks like I can do that. Proceed with the combination and there we are, the brimstone ring. And another Hydra Slayer task completed. I turned the task with the Slaughter Bracelets into 227 Hydras. That is an insane amount. Very fortunate for the Slaughter Bracelets, but now it is time to go back to task skipping and hopefully get another Hydra task just as fast as I did last time. Yeah, not after too many tasks skipped. We have 128 Hydras, quite a bit less than last time, but it is still an okay amount. And with the slaughter bracelets, this will probably be like 160, 170, maybe even more than that. Hey, there's a new personal best after almost a thousand kill count. Almost nothing exciting has happened this task, but we did just get a personal best, so I guess that's something. Very fast kill there. And there is the last kill of the Hydra task. Probably the most uninteresting Hydra task I've done so far in this video. Not a single drop really that was notable throughout the entire task. The most exciting thing is that I actually got 112, 1 minute and 12 second speed run, so it's kind of cool, but yeah. Nothing exciting, I guess let's go and get a new task, and our next task, we will get a thousand kill count, so that is exciting. This was probably the longest dry streak I got on a Hydra task. It was over 50 task skips to get 156 Hydras. Man, that was unfortunate, but we did get the Hydras in the end, and I will say it was definitely a lot better than skipping with the Cal fight, so I'm super glad I got that blocked, but yeah, that was just an unfortunate string of things. Just before a thousand kill count now, we got ourselves our third set of alchemical Hydra heads. Here is kill number 1000 of the Hydra grind very shortly into this task. Nothing too special so far from this task, and so far we've pretty much gotten one of every drop except for three Hydra heads, so hopefully the next 1,000 we have to do, or probably less than 1,000 to get 99 Slayer, we can maybe get some more drop. I'd really like another Fang, but I think that's a bit greedy, but honestly any drop I'd be pretty happy about. Okay, there's the first ring piece I've gotten in an extremely long time, the Hydra's Eye, and that is the third ring piece I've gotten in this episode, so that's very nice. We now have completed a full ring within this episode. Yet another Hydra task completed with pretty much nothing except for a Hydra's eye. So the last two tasks we've gotten basically nothing. So I really hope the next task would be something nice. I do think next task though we will be getting 98 Slayer. So only one more level to go after that. Fortunately for me we've gotten ourselves 176 Hydra so that's a super high amount and we got it relatively quickly and we are definitely going to get 98 Slayer from this task. I think like each alchemical Hydra is like 1.2, 1.3k XP. Plus I'll be using Slaughter Bracelet so this will be like 200 plus Hydras. Very nice. Took a while, but there's our second Slayer level of the video. That means we're still only about halfway done though, unfortunately, but it is awesome that we're finally 98 Slayer, 1.2 mil away from the goal of 99 Slayer. Let's get grinding. We are so, so close now. Uh, probably gonna be over 2000 KC from what it looks like, just getting the 98. But yeah, now that I have 98, I'm gonna be super motivated to get 99. First kill of the day, and we've got ourselves our second ring piece of our new ring. That is quite nice, so if we get, I think it's the Hydra's Heart again, we'll have two Brimstone Rings. There is the last piece of the ring I need, the Hydra's Heart. That means we now have two Brimstone Rings from the Hydra, so that's awesome. Let's take that Hydra's Heart and make ourselves another Brimstone Ring. Another Hydra task completed. Anything? Oh my god! Wow, the last kill of the Hydra task, and I have a Hydra's Claw. I was just recording because, you know, I just finished my task. That was the last kill of the task. That is amazing. Now we have two Hydra Claws, and we still have only one Hydra's Leather, but the last kill of the task, that is insane. What RNG is that? And right after we got that Hydra's Claw, it really did not take too much task skipping. I think three or four tasks, and we already have another Hydra task, a pretty short one, but I'm just happy to be back on the Hydra task. Well then, that's uh, pretty interesting. 1471 kill count, and I just got myself a duplicate Hydra pet. That is uh, interesting, because I got my first Hydra pet at 7 kill count, and now we've gotten two Hydra pets in less than 1500 kill count. 1500 kill count, nothing too special on that one. Oh, I just got a Dragon Throwing Nex. That's the uh, 1569 KC at the uh, Hydras. That's the... 
10 out of 11 now on the collection logs. So that's actually uh, pretty good. Thanks for thanks for joining us, man. I just got a Hydra's Eye, so it's like back-to-back -back drop there. So it's the third ring I'm st I just started now on this task. There we go. 167 Hydras. That's above average. It's very good. Hey, look at that. I was actually just about to uh, try something, but that's amazing. Hydra's Leather. This is only the second one at 1654 kill count. Super nice that we got this item now. It's an extra 10 mil. We technically should have had about three right now, but I will take my second at this KC. That's not too bad at all. It's been a while now since I started Hydra and we are only 500k XP away from getting 99 Slayer. So I figured now is the perfect time to go ahead and start trying for these Derek challenge. I can't say for sure I'm going to get it right now. I might hold it off till later, depending on how I feel. And I have no idea how hard this is. This will be my first attempt ever. I do know I have to teleport out if I get the prayer wrong at the beginning. But other than that, as long as I do a perfect kill, everything should be fine. Let's get our HP down to zero and let's see how this goes. There we go. We got it. Oh my god, that was actually a pretty difficult one. We also got 33 million XP at the same time. Unfortunately, no reward for that combat achievement, but we did it. That is all of the combat achievements completed. There we are. Super nice. All the combat achievements done for Hydra. Another Hydra task completed. Am I going to get a claw at the end of the task again? No, it looks like that was just last task. But this task, we still got a lot. We got the leather and the last combat achievement that we needed for Hydra completed. And we are getting so, so close to 99 Slayer. Less than 500k to go. If we're really lucky on the task amount, like 225 from here, we could get ourselves 99 Slayer in two tasks. Let's go ahead and try to get our next task just to see. Yes, that's a beautiful task. 181 Hydras. That's near the max amount. I think the max is 195. So that will take us very, very close. Hopefully within like 200, 300,000 XP away from 99. And then maybe a really big Hydra task. Or maybe you'll probably take two Hydra tasks. Depending on how the race of the slaughter go. Let's get started. That's a lot of Hydras. Early on in this task, we got ourselves another Hydra unique. The Hydra's Fang. That is the second piece of the ring now. I think this would be our third ring completed, maybe second, I don't know about that. We're just missing one piece now, which is the Hydra Heart. There it is! That is such a good drop. Not only is that worth a lot of money, but that is the last item I need in the collection log. And we got it just before 2000 kill count. We have now green logged Hydra. I had no idea what drop that was because it was an orange drop and there's like no orange drops you can get from here. But then when I saw the collection log pop up, I knew what it was. That is beautiful. That is a green log at Hydra. Just at the Hydra trip where I got the dragon knives and what a inventory I have here. That was a very, very long Hydra trip. But more importantly, I do want to go ahead and show you guys the log. As you can see, another green log. I don't have too many of them. So to get another one super huge and one as big as Hydra where it has 11 different items I can get. Some of those being very rare like the pet and the jar, which I got spooned very early on. But the rest of the items are decently rare as well. The dragon thorn axes and knives, 2,000 a piece, one in 1,000. And the other items get a bit more common as we go through but yeah that is another green log and super happy to get it done under 2000 kill count very very lucky but very very happy to get it done this is gonna be a very important kill right here this should be kill count number 2000 anything special for that fortunately not but that is such a nice number there it is the second to final task in order to get ourselves a 99 slayer we are only 173k away which will pretty much be any task even if i get the minimum amount with the slaughter bracelets that is amazing we completed the collection log we completed all the combat achievements we are ready now let's just go ahead and complete 99 slayer by getting our last hydro task there it is the last hydro task that i'm going to need to get up to 99 slayer even if i don't use slaughter bracelets on any of this you get like 1.3k xp per hydra 160 slot hydras is way more than 160 68,000 XP. Let's go ahead and get it. 99 Slayer. There's nothing else I really need from Hydra. Be nice to get like an extra claw, an extra leather, a little bit of extra money, but we've done so well so far. Let's go ahead and claim that cape. Oh yeah. Last task and we get ourselves a third Hydra's Claw. Now we have more Hydra's Claw than leathers. Once again, that's a great drop. And the last task too, I think we're less than 100,000 experience away now from 99 Slayer. What a nice drop to get towards the end. Beautiful. 
Looks like the luck is continuing. We're not just ending with a Hydra's Claw. We just got ourselves a third Hydra's Leather. Now we should have about four at this kill count. So this is about expected, but that is still awesome as we only have what now 40k to go to 99. So getting a Hydra's Leather and a Hydra's Claw in the last 100,000 XP is really, really nice. Super happy about that. Oh, that is big. The Hydra's Tail. Oh, I thought this was a different item. There's our second Hydra's Tail. This is the 1 in 512 that you get that you can attach to your Bone Crusher and the uh, necklace uh, to make it into a Bone Crusher necklace that I'm wearing right now. Uh, this is yeah only the second one we've gotten, which is technically unlucky, but since it's worth such a low amount of money, I don't really mind that much. But still, another unique here towards the end of the Hydra. Should be it. The final bit of damage to get 90 nine slayer we have done it over 2000 hydras killed in order to get 99 slayer but we have done it and towards the end there we got like three drops in the last 100,000 xp the hydra's claw the hydra tail and the hydra leather so we got very lucky towards the end there but yeah let's go ahead head out of here and start looking at the loot because that's what you guys all care about. I know you guys are excited to see the loot tab, but before we do that, let me just go ahead and show you the loot tracker, which is honestly maybe even more exciting. 359 mil, so basically 360 mil made from the alchemical hydra, just under 2000 kill count done from, I think it was 96 slayer start, all the way to 99 slayer. And I killed nothing except for Hydra other than what I had to kill for task skipping. There was no other task done in between. Actually, there was that one Dagonoff task I had to do. And as you can see there, that's pretty much the entire loot tracker. And then I also just want to go ahead and reshow the collection log. I showed it early on when I green logged it, but I did get a few new items like another claw, another leather, and another Hydra's tail. Now let's go ahead and show the loot tab. And there are a few more things I need to do uh, after I show the loot tab, which I'll go over as we go ahead and open it here. 292 mil, but that is not all of it as some items have been going into different tabs based on what I already have. For example, a lot of my runes just go into my runes tab. A lot of these chaos runes, I think it was blood runes, death runes, and astro runes were a lot of what I got from the hydra grind. And then there's just items throughout the bank, such as the black tea head bodies. You dropped a lot of those. I think there was a lot of uh, dragon battle axes. You get quite a few of those and just items throughout the bank. But before I sell everything, I will go through that. But before I even start selling everything, there's a couple more things that to do. First and foremost is I am getting two 99s in this video, so we're not just getting 99 Slayer. We have to get 99 Prayer, and from all of those Hydra kills, I got a lot of Dragon Bones. So I want to go ahead and use the ones that I got before I go ahead and buy more, because there's no reason to buy and then resell them. But I'll make sure I know exactly how many I use just to add from my cast stack how much money I made from Hydra. So this bone right here is going to be the second 99 of the episode 99 prayer and that's a pretty special 99 for me because not only is it the second 99 of the prayer but now I have a full column of 99s as you can see here all the way from 99 attack down to 99 construction this entire left side is fully 99s and I've gotten uh, 99 slayer this time so I guess maybe work on this one next or this one. We're getting close, 2,221 total level. The total level I need is 2,277. It's like 50 more levels. Sounds like a lot, but it'll go really fast. One thing I also need to do is open the 63 brimstone keys I got throughout this grind. So here is that. And with this last brimstone key, we have now opened the brimstone test a total of 103 times. I think it was 63 keys that we had. And the total loot from the 63 brimstone keys is going to be about 6 mil, so about 100k per key. Unfortunately, we didn't get any unique items, but they are like a 1 in 200, so it's kind of a little unexpected just to get them from 63 keys. And now the final thing I need to do before I sell the loot tab is actually open the clue scrolls that I got from Hydra. I did every clue scroll that I got and ended up getting 17 hard clues and 13 elites, which means I think I got relatively lucky in the elites and unlucky in the hards. And we have our first master clue and we will be doing all of our master clues so let's get started on that first master completed back to the hard clues and we've got our second master second master completed back to the hard clues we've got ourselves another master clue three masters completed now we're last to our hard 
Our last hard clue, nothing too special, but now we're up to 160 hard clues. Now let's get into our elite clues. And the first one, we've already got ourselves another master. Four master clues now. Let's get back to the elites. We got ourselves a big pirate hat. It's a pretty cool one. We now have another master. Another master completed. Back to the elites. And we got ourselves our first mimic from an actual elite clue. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get that done. That is mimic number 13 completed on this account. And this one is going to reward me with 25 Grammy Ranar and also another master clue. So let's get that done. Another master up to six masters. And we still have six elites to go. And we got ourselves a Fury Ornament Kit. That is a very, very cool item. Glad to get that one out of the way. Let's keep it going. And we have our seventh master. Finished our seventh master. Now we got three more elites and it looks like we're getting eight master clues at least three more elites two more elites and we got ourselves another master clue looks like we're gonna have at least nine maybe even ten master clues to open i now have my nine master caskets and one more elite are we up to ten master caskets no it looks like we're just gonna open nine but nine is quite a few of them we could definitely get lucky with that so let's go ahead and get started first one 500k and the second one is a Mimic, so let's get ready for that. Mimic defeated a lot closer than I thought it would be, and this Mimic is unfortunately just 25 Wines of Zamorak, but we have seven more Master Clues. Six. Uh, and let's go ahead and bank. Five Masters to go. And it looks like we got a unique here with the Shazian Hood, and I also don't think I have the Half Moon Spectacles, not 100% sure, but let's keep it going. Nothing there. Uh, nothing from this. Two more Master Clues. And we have another Mimic, that's awesome. Third Mimic of the video completed, and nothing too special from this Mimic either. Robe of Darkness looks like I already have that, and we have one more Master Clue, and we got lucky on the last Master Clue because it is also a Mimic. From the last Mimic and the last Master Clue of the video, we are going to get an Anguish Ornament Kit. That's actually uh, worth quite a bit of money. I have actually quite a few of these already. That's pretty cool though. That's an 8 mil drop. Very, very lucky to get that. It looks like I got another 15 mana ray from the Mimic though. A little unfortunate on the Mimic rewards, but ending with an 8 mil drop, that is beautiful. Now that we have opened all of the Brimstone keys and we have opened all of the caskets, we can go ahead and check the bank. And we now have a 310 mil loot tab. But yet, once again, a lot of the items just aren't showing up. Like for example, I think this tab has the uh, Dragon Battle Axes. I think I have some Ruin Plate Bodies in there as well. I will go through it all, make sure I sell everything accurately and let's see just how much money we can make. I have finished selling pretty much all of the non-unique items and it looks like it comes pretty much exactly to 200 mil and 100k left over. Pretty cool that it worked out like that, that around 2,000 kills at the Alchemical Hydra, including the Clue Loot and the Brimstone Key Loot, ended up being about 200 mil in non-uniques. However, we still have the uniques to sell. I think for the Hydra's Claws, I'm going to use the money that I made from the non-uniques to buy three Hostas just so I can combine them and possibly get a better profit out of that. Everything else I can pretty much sell as is and I saved the uh, two uniques, the uh, Fury Ornament Kit and the English Ornament Kit from the clues as well since that was a pretty big uh, spike in price. So let's sell everything and see what we're up to. And after a little bit I have sold off all of the uniques that I got from Hydra. I did have to spend about 13 mil on the Zamorakian Hostas to make the Dragon Hunter Lance. So let's go ahead and collect everything now and it looks like in total from Hydra and the Brimstone Keys, and the Clue Scrolls, we have earned 387 mil and 447k. That is a lot more money than I thought I'd earn. However, not all of this 387 mil is profit. I do need to take out what I spent on supplies. For those curious, I spent about 20 mil on Dragon Arrows, and about 10 mil on prayer potions, ranging potions, and food that I used at the Hydra. So it was approximately 30 mil. I don't have the exact prices, unfortunately, but 30 mil that I spent on supplies. So from the Hydra, it looks like we profited about 357 mil, if you do include the clues and the brimstone keys. However, in this video, we also spent a lot of money on prayer. And for those curious, it totaled to be 73 mil in prayer costs so we also have to take out the 73 mil that we spent on prayer and in this video total on getting 99 prayer and 99 slayer at hydra we have profited a total of 284.4 mil that is a lot more than we profited in the last episode and honestly i didn't think we'd be able to top last episode so i impressed myself there making almost 285 mil in this episode i also feel like now that we're three episodes into the series we may as well start totaling the amount of money we've made through each episode episode one we ended with 21.5 mil profit in episode two we ended with 170 mil profit and here in episode three we ended with 284 mil profit so that 
that leaves us with a grand total of 475.5 mil made within the first three episodes of maxing, almost half a billion GP made already, and we still have over 50 levels to go, so I'm hoping to get over 1 bill made by the end. Uh, we'll see if that's possible though. That's pretty much going to be it for this episode. Before I go though, I do want to shout out my in-game clan and my own discord that I made for the channel. My in-game clan is the Cool Cats 2. It is the clan that we started with the release of Group Iron Man, and it is now open for anyone to join. We have players who have just started the game, to players who are maxed, and are doing end-game content such as raids. If you're looking for a community to hang out in, feel free to join as a guest and ask for an invite, and either me or one of our key ranks would be happy to invite you. As far as the Discord goes, I started the Discord server over a year ago and haven't advertised it much, and would love to build a community of people who enjoy playing RuneScape as much as I do. All the information you'll need to join the Discord and the clan will be in a pinned comment on this video and in the description. That's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I've also recently hit 20,000 subscribers, so a big thanks to all of you guys who have been watching and subscribed throughout the years, and I'll hopefully see you guys a bit sooner next time, as the next grind shouldn't take nearly as long as 99 Slayer has taken. I hope everyone watching has a great day, and I'll see you soon. Later.